Hello, Steve with SNS Mowing Service. Today we're gonna go over a couple things I did on my Ferris Z1 36 inch cut. I went through, changed the oil, air filter, oil filter. Uh, the machine is a Ferris, but my local dealer does not carry Ferris parts. He sells Ferris, he sells John Deere. He gets me the John Deere equivalent to my Ferris or the stuff that, that uh, corresponds to my machine. This is the oil filter, AM125424. Right, here's the air filter. This is an extra one I have, M113621. And we use the 10W30 for the oil. That was done earlier, but right before I took the, the camera out. Now I'm working on uh, replacing a, a belt that I have. I believe it's a, I would call it a drive belt, not the deck belt. I only have two sets of belts here, one on the top, one on the, like the upper, and then the lower. I took a half inch socket and loosened this up here, this one, that one, and then the one right back in here. I loosened these up, they're already loose. So I could take this guard off, or just pull it up. You don't have to remove those bolts all the way, just the bolts stay in place, just loosen them up. That's out of the way. I could see my my belts. Lower belt looks good. This upper one is chewed up. Got some chunks missing. <clears throat> I bought the belts this past season. Last fall, I, I bought them in the fall. This is the one, the upper. I got two of them. Just one to do now and then to have one for spare. That's your part number there for the upper belt. 5105000. This is the same thing here. This is the one I'm going to be putting on. Same thing. 5105000. Upper belt. And I have my, my lower belt. I also have <clears throat> that part number is 5104999. Five one zero four nine nine nine. That's the lower, what I would call the, the deck belts or the. That's what's what's moving the blades, I believe. Uh, to get in here, I got my half inch breaker bar. I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna go in underneath into this, the square hole here. I'm gonna put my. My breaker bar up in there. I don't know if I could hold it while holding the phone, but I'm gonna try. Right, I got it in, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull this way. That brings that that brings that tensioner pulley off, and it gives me slack on that belt. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause the video. I'm gonna take that belt off because I'm by myself here. I'm gonna just pull on this pry bar got a lot of spring to it this the spring is this hefty be safe make sure you're wearing gloves safety goggles but pull that back and then with your with my left arm I'm gonna reach over and undo the belt and then I'll go through and show you when it's replaced and just gotta just gotta make sure you see how it's routed it's nothing nothing hard While I'm at it, I'm gonna get some grease. While all this stuff is off here, I got, I'm gonna grease my, my Zerks. I got different different points here where, where I could I could grease. So we're gonna go ahead and, and grease them up. I got my grease gun. Got it from uh, the Harbor Freight. The last one I had, I it, it fell off the, the counter and it, and it broke, so I ended up having to buy another one. But, yeah, 
do a little bit of maintenance on this thing and uh, keep making money. I'll be right back to show you the finished product. I mean, it's just going to be a new belt on there. But I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Help me out. This is my second video for YouTube. I haven't posted anything since I started up this channel. Just been busy working. Working, doing the, the grass. And uh, my I, I have a full-time job that I work as well. We got this mower with uh, zero, zero hours. You know, we got 435 hours on this puppy. Making some money. Trying to make a name for ourselves. Uh, yeah. Let's stay tuned. We're going to pause this and uh, we'll be back with the finished product. All right. We got that belt installed. This is the old belt out here. Had several places where it was pretty badly damaged. That's the worst of it right there. Glad it didn't break out on a job earlier this week but what i would say is if you have a an extra hand somebody to give you a a hand that would be nice i got it on by myself i'm by myself here today like i said i put the breaker bar in here and i uh i got on it but what i did was kind of with my left hip here kind of gave it gave it what it needed I, I leaned in against it to relieve the pressure and then i stood in here with my left hand i went over the top here to help this this side out and then with my right hand i came underneath to help as well like i said i it is a little dangerous it's kind of sketchy by yourself i got it on safely i was wearing gloves always wear some uh safety goggles just you don't want anything in your eyes but uh Definitely gloves. Like I said, there's a lot of tension on that spring. You want to be careful. If you have an extra hand, somebody could just hold, stand here and hold it like this. And you get in there and you work. That would be the best case scenario. But like I said, I did it by myself. I didn't get hurt. I live to tell another tale. But uh, again, this is the uh, Ferris Z1. This is the motor I got in it. FX 600 Kawasaki, the 19 horse. Not sure if those belt numbers that I gave you will work on yours. That's that's what my my, my machine takes. Uh, hopefully this this video helps somebody out. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get my grease gun ready and hit those zerks and uh, put it back in the storage. The so the next mowing or leaf job comes up like i said if you uh, found this video helpful do me a favor and like it share it subscribe to the channel hopefully this year i'll post a little more about what's going on in the business uh i got the little 30 inch time master back there and the craftsman leaf sucker but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Take it easy, guys.